So I want to start off by asking you a question. Can you please put up your hands if, if you yourself or someone close to you has been affected by mental ill health? Is it you that doesn't support women rising through the ranks of your organisation and taking a senior leadership role? Is it you that pays women in your organisation less than men? Do you see a boat full of hope or a boat full of threats? When I hear people saying, send them back, you are not welcome here, I feel like they are talking to me and my family. To understand anything, you must understand its uncertainty. Uncertainty is at the heart of the fabric of the universe. But the quantum world says you can't do that. So for example, if I put a ball in here, it'll bounce down and it'll end up somewhere. It's not there. People don't look at him, they don't speak to him, they don't acknowledge him, they don't address him and I think, oh, Jackson's turned invisible again. But when I turn around, there he is. So here are the same people that you saw before. Only now the only one who looks like he doesn't have a disability is Jackson. He would be a person, I was told, who should be with his own kind. And people by that mean his own disabled kind, not his own human kind, forgetting that actually he's human first and he is disabled second. A lot of these victims have, have triumphed over adversity. Now, Hong Si was six years of age when her friend stood on a landmine. Unfortunately for Hong Si, she was standing next to her friend. When the landmine went off, it killed her friend instantly and she lost her left leg. Now, if you can imagine being a child, six years of age, losing your left leg, there's not just a lot of physical pain that goes with that injury, there's a lot of psychological pain that goes with that as well. We took these students from not being able to swim to conducting open water dives to recover unexploded ordnance. It was really sad on a Sunday to have to take Barbara and then Mary back to the institution. But what really broke my heart was learning much later as an adult what really went on in over 800 institutions throughout Australia. Is our societal view of masculinity still valid? Does the map we're running off still fit the territory we are in? We can be compassionate and loving and still maintain a strong sense of who we are as men. Hi, today I'm going to share my personal journey with female genital mutilation. Settling in Australia was quite hard. I spent months educating nurses and doctors about what female genital mutilation was. The next time that you see a pigeon or a tiny sparrow, or you see a small brown hen roosting on its little eggs, and you look into its cold, dead eyes, you need to realise that this thing comes from a Tyrannosaurus Rex. God, I love science. 